Hello, my name's Nadim. And my name is Mia. And we will explain what Childline means. What is Childline? Childline provides lots of support on its website, through the phone, an app and sign video. Childline have experienced counsellors, so if you have a problem you need to discuss, but there's no one to discuss it with, then don't worry, Childline is there. If you need to discuss something, Childline counsellors are there to help you any time. A lot of young people have problems in their everyday lives and they need to get them out and discuss them with someone to help them feel better. Perhaps you know an adult really well, but don't feel like you can talk to them. It doesn't matter. Childline is there for you 24-7 and is also confidential. Now I'll describe Kyle's story. Kyle is worried and needs to contact someone to discuss things. So he contacted Childline and sorted things out. Let's have a look. Kyle is at a mainstream school where there's a deaf unit. Kyle has a cochlear implant, but other children look at him differently. They bully him and push him, Oi, shout deafie. and call him names. Kyle is scared and he's frightened to go to school. Should he tell his teachers? He's frightened that the bullying will get worse. He doesn't want to tell his mum either. Kyle is feeling quite low. Kyle was being bullied and kept it quiet and didn't tell anyone for such a long time. There was a group of boys and girls who were cheeky and picked on Kyle because he was different and they bullied him. Why? Because he had a cochlear implant. Kyle kept it quiet, but he needed to tell someone to get them to sort it out, right? Right. Now we will show you Jen's story. Have a look. Jen lives far away in a residential school with other students. Her mum and dad want her to do really well at school, so she is under pressure and spends a lot of time on her own, studying hard in her room. Hi, do you want to come with me and Carla to have a break? I can't, I've got too much work to do. You are always busy, boring and moody, come on. I can't. You are boring. Enough, stop. Forget it. Jen is under so much pressure and feeling very emotional and struggling to cope, so has been cutting herself. Her teachers and friends don't see this as she keeps it covered up, hiding it with her jumper. Who's the text from? Mike, her sports coach. So when training had finished and everyone had gone, Mike went looking for Jen and he encouraged her to get close to him and he cuddled her and was touching her private parts. It made Jen feel uncomfortable. That's awful. So what did the text say? Mike sent Jen a text saying, let's have some private time after school, just the two of us, come on. Jen doesn't know what to do. So what does Jen do? Jen wanted to tell someone, but she didn't know who, so she kept it quiet and felt very emotional. She thought, should I tell my parents? No, that's impossible. My teacher? Oh, no. Friends? I don't know who to tell. Who can I tell? Who? Young people contact Childline with all sorts of worries. For example, some people have problems with their families or friends. In the family, it could be that your mum and dad are arguing all the time. Maybe someone in your family is ill. Maybe your friends have fallen out with you. Maybe you have a lot of schoolwork to do. Or maybe work from college. Or you might have an exam coming up soon. So you're studying hard and the deadline's coming up 
and you're starting to panic. Or there is also sexual abuse, and there are many different examples of this. One example is maybe some inappropriate touching from an adult. Asking you to get undressed, to take your trousers off. Or maybe grabbing you, putting you on the bed, caressing your hair. Or maybe offering you sweets to tempt you to touch their private parts. Another form of abuse is physical abuse. There are many different types. An example could be punching someone in the face, pushing someone so they fall over and hurt themselves, grabbing someone's hair, pulling it and dragging them across the floor. Also, punching or using a stick to hit someone. There is also emotional abuse as well. An example could be an adult telling a child, I don't love you, you are stupid, and using horrible words to a child. Grabbing them and forcing them to stay in and saying, you stay in. You're not allowed out. You go to school and that's it. You're not allowed out with your friends. You're not allowed TV or games in your computer. You stay in. And then the child is locked in their room. Neglect is also abuse. There are many different examples, including a small child that's very hungry saying to an adult, please cook for me, I want some food. Then their parent or carer saying, no, do it yourself. Or having shoes that are too tight and really hurt and make it difficult to walk. And the child saying, please can I have bigger shoes? And the parent or carer saying, no, you don't need them. It could be having clothes that are really smelly and never washed and feeling embarrassed and emotional as other people stare. It's really important that you share your worries with an adult you can trust and express your feelings to. You may feel nervous or worried, but don't worry. Childline can support you. Remember, Childline has many different ways you can contact them. Searching on the website, there is a lot of information that you can click onto about bullying, abuse, safety, relationships, sex, friends, schoolwork, exams, lots of information. There is also a specific page on the website called Death Zone, which has lots of advice and also has signed videos. There is also a message board, so if you have a problem, you can share your comments and maybe another person has the same problem, so you can chat it through on the message board. Childline will monitor the message board to make sure that it gives the right support. Childline supported Kyle and Jen. Let's have a look at the help that they provided. Childline provided one-to-one -one chat support online through a counsellor. Kyle felt he could express how he was feeling about being bullied through the chat session. The counsellor discussed how he was feeling as part of the conversation. Through the chat, it was discussed that perhaps Kyle should inform the school about what was happening. Kyle thought about this and plucked up the courage to have a discussion with the school to talk about the bullying. And they agreed to sort it out. Childline has a range of communication methods that you can choose from, from texting through to one-to-one -to -one chat, but there is one more through British Sign Language. It's easy. On the Childline website, it has details about sign video. It's an interpreting service, and you can see the interpreter via the screen, talking to a Childline counsellor. The interpreter signs to you, and this goes back and forward between the interpreter, you, and the counsellor, through spoken language and British Sign Language. So the counsellor, through the interpreter, will ask, do you need advice? Are you feeling emotional or worried? Then you can communicate this way through sign video. This service is available from Monday to Friday, 8am until 6pm, and it's confidential. Jen was in contact with Childline through sign video. She shared her worries about her sports coach, Mike, through this service. She wasn't sure what to do, so she had a discussion with a counsellor who suggested that perhaps Jen could think about reporting him to someone at school. Jen thought about it and did speak to someone at school, and an investigation was started and is ongoing. The counsellor also discussed her self-harm and other ways of coping.
If you feel worried or scared or panicky, don't worry. Childline is there to support you. Remember, Childline provides free and confidential support. Bye. Bye.